shot clock now. Gotta hurry, Fioravanti puts it up and gets it to go. Rule drives baseline, kicks out Garner, long two, swish. <laughs> Franklin from the free throw line, yes. Push. Back to Ballou, open for three, yes. Wow. Minutes left to go in half number one. Ballou left open for three again, and that one was contested and she still buried it. Franklin underneath, and this time able to jam it in. Lead. And Monahan with a steal. She hesitates and then lays it in with the left. Garner, 10 footer, yes. A timely basket by Garner. On a hand. Fioravanti backing down Chris Lina for two. Woods, off the glass and through. Burns, the drive, blocked by Franklin. That's her third block of the night. And sets the screen, steps inside the line, an air ball. It's been a tough night for Monahan. But the Hawks get it back, and Woods falling down and one. Here with St. Joseph head coach Sidney Griffin and junior Chelsea Wood following the Hawks' 47-44 victory over Fordham. Start with an opening statement from head coach Sidney Griffin. Um, yeah, I'm just very, very, very proud of the way our, our team came out. Um, they, they listened to, uh, you know, what the game plan was, and they facilitated very, very well. And, um, you know, we're playing a team that has not lost in the conference yet, uh, coming in at 6-0, and, and, and um, you know, a very, very talented team. And uh, I was very, very happy that, uh, you know, we were able to, to not only win, but how we won with, with some resistance and, and pulling through when things got a little tough today. And uh, again, we're getting better and better. And the improvement has, um, is showing with wins, which is, which is rewarding on all ends. Open up the questions. Uh, congrats on the win. Uh, first question is for Chelsea. Um, you guys, both teams, there were lids on the basket in the first quarter. It's, you know, not a whole lot of shots went down. How do you guys stay motivated to keep shooting and avoid getting discouraged? Um, like, uh, like Coach saw us in practice, like, you may miss a couple, but continue to, like, you have to not be scared to shoot, because if you're scared to shoot, you can't score being scared, so you have to just keep shooting, keep shooting, and eventually they will fall. And Coach, at the end of the game, you guys missed some, some free throws. Um, is that scary at all? Um, well, I would have liked to make them. <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I knew that this team was going to pull together and get a stop down the defensive end. And uh, certainly situations that we've done in practice over and over and over again. And just staying focused for that last minute was very, very important. And uh, can't always control the ball going in the basket, but you can control the defensive end as much uh, more so. So um, we focused on that and, um, you know, we, we ended up with the win. Now for, for the two of you, in, in non-conference, been in a couple tight games. You guys came out on the losing end, but now it seems like you guys kind of have things a little bit more figured out. Can you just talk a little bit about the success you've had and, I guess, holding off teams here in the last couple games? Mm -hmm. uh, I think we've matured. You know, I think we, we've um, – the, the ball's moving better. I think we're taking great shots. You know, we're making shots as well. I think that always helps. We're healthy. Um, you know, I, and I think, um, you know, just the, the approach. I mean, these kids want to win, you know, and uh, we had some tough challenges early on, but I do think it's, it's paying off right now. We have to continue. We have a tough game on, uh, at Dayton, uh, a perennial power in our, in our league who uh, just beat um, the second-place te uh, second team in St. Louis the other day, and they're coming off of a bye week. So, you know, we, we, I, I'm happy with where we are. Um, but this by no means was a championship game. And, um, but I am, I am very, very proud of the fact that the, the kids bought in and, and, and are starting to believe in themselves a little bit more than we did in the beginning of the year. Anything else? One more. So uh, this is your fourth straight now. You beat a team that was undefeated in conference. It's got to build some kind of momentum. How are you guys feeling in the locker room in the clubhouse as, as a team, um, given the success you guys have had over the last two weeks? Go ahead, Charles. Um, I feel as though our confidence is building. And just building each game. Each game, we're just getting better and better. Um, learning from each mistake from before, even though we're winning, we're still learning. Um, and we're just progressing. And I feel as though it's just, you know, when you're on a winning strike, you just 
and I could just keep going and keep fighting. And so it's like I feel like doing it now. It's confident. Just going.